everyone, I'm Grace Ansangarias from Base F1A. So now, this is my channel, and this for today's video, uh, we talked about mangrove. Mangrove. Mangroves store more carbon than terrestrial forest. Mangroves help people wither the impact of climate change. But they also help motivate it in its process. The production of mangroves. So mangroves reproduce by flowering with pollination occurring via wind and insects. Once pollination occurs, the seeds remain attached to the parent tree. So, what? They germinate into progules before dropping into the waters below. This ability is referred to as vivarity. The propagules either take root in the sediments near the parent tree or are dispersed. from other species by tangled reddish crop roots. Second is black mangrove. Black mangrove is what we call a uh, Abyssinia germinans. The black mangrove is characterized by long horizontal roots and roots like projections known as pneumatopores and it grows at elevations slightly higher than then the red mangrove where the tidal chains exposes the roots to air. And the white mangrove occupying higher land than the red and black mangroves. The white mangrove lagoon polar race musa has no visible area roots. Unlike the black mangrove, which has pneumatopores and the red mangrove. With the prop roots, however, it is falling up in the method. Sediments are flooded for extended periods of time. This is the red mangrove. Commercial fisheries acting as nursery breeding, spawning, and hatching habits. For offshore fisheries and exporting organic matter to the marine environment, producing nutrients for fauna in both the mangroves themselves and in adjustment marine and estuarine ecosystem. So what are the traits of mangroves? Major traits that limit the mangrove community in the Philippines are human intervention. So, particularly converting the areas to fish ponds, a natural phenomena which includes typhoons and sea level rise. 